Hi, my name's Alan Stagg and I'm here on the lovely St. Patrick's stream and we're trying to catch some barb one chub today for Enterprise Tackle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some really good tips and tricks that I use to consistently catch barbel on not only this river, but rivers all over the country. Right, I'm just going to take a little time to talk through my favourite rig for targeting autumn and winter, barbel and chub. Now, I don't believe in any complex rigs, so it's really dead simple. I've just got a length of lead core here, and the first main important thing about the rig is actually the lead setup. Now Chris at Enterprise has come up with an absolutely fantastic product that I always use on my barbel rigs and that incorporates the snag safe run rings. Now it's got a nice big bore here at the top that you can see and that runs nice and freely cutting the resistance down. Now the second important factor is actually the clip that's just covered over with a bit of silicon which is supplied in a packet. Now this holds, actually holds the lead. Um, and there's two different sizes of these little disposable clips. Now the first one's the small one which is, breaks around three to four pounds break and strain and the second one breaks around eight to nine pounds and that's the larger one. Now what I like about these is on a running lead setup when you're playing a big fish, if it, the lead ever gets caught on anything, the, this small clip here can just open out, the lead will disperse laying on the lead bottom and you're still in contact with a fish great little product and one that I always use. Okay and to finish the lead end off we've got a protector bead here which houses the swivel. These are a great little product from Enterprise and a nice colour too. Now I'm going to talk you through the hook length and crucially the hook bait presentation. Right now coming down to the hook bait we've got a nice long probably 12 inches of a really supple 15 pound trickster braid. I like supple hook links I'm really into these at the moment because they're a little bit different than what a lot of people are using on the rivers nowadays. Now, running down to that, I've got a simple hair rig, knotless knot, with a size 10 target hook. Now, we're going to talk about the important bit now, and these are the Enterprise pellet skins. They come in two different colours. We've got here today, we've got the, the darker brown one, which is like a halibut pellet colour, and there's a lighter one as well for like coarse fish pellets. Now, these are absolutely fantastic and probably one of the most underrated products that I've used. Now, what it basically is, is it's like a housing, so you don't need to use any pellet bands, latex bait bands, or fiddle about in the dark, which can be a bit of a nightmare on the rivers, or if it's cold, you can just plug your bait straight in the back of it. They take four mil pellets, six mil pellets, eight mil pellets. You can plug paste in there. You can do pretty much whatever you want. And one of the things that I think they'd be great for, not only for river fishing, for barbel and chub, but I think they'd be absolutely fantastic on commercial fisheries. They'd offer the speed that the guys are looking for, just pop a pellet in the back of it, straight back out again. Great little product and I really like these. Okay, now we've run through the rig, I'm just going to talk to you about my baiting applications for autumn and winter barbel fishing. Now normally I'm a great lover of being quite positive in my feeding. I normally feed plenty of hemp, pellets, boilies, that kind of thing to get the swims going, prime them up and then fish them in rotation. Kind of textbook barbel fishing really. Well on this river today, I find it really difficult to get bites over any sort of beds of bait at all. The last couple of weeks I've been fishing up here and the, the sort of the, the game is to fish small PVA bags, sort of about this sort of size. And if the bites are gonna come and the fish are in your swim, you generally get a bite in sort of 20 minutes or half an hour. So that's what I've been doing today. Now, did simple making PVA bags, and all I've been doing is putting some, just some six mil elliptical pellets straight in the bottom of the bag, and then been adding some boilies as well, because that's what I've been feeding in. Just been using some 14 mil barrels here, just been breaking them up, putting sort of half a dozen of these in as well. Now, I like adding sort of a good food bait as well. And if you're fishing a stretch for sort of any length of time or regularity, then it definitely seems to pay off. A few more pellets, and that's about it really. Just sort of enough to get a bite, enough attraction that if the fish are in the swim, then they'll come up and have a look. Now, as I said before, I'm normally a general lover of, of being positive in my barbel fishing, and I generally love to feed loads of hemp. Now, people have definitely got sort of pellets on the brain in recent years, but definitely hemp seems to have gone full circle and don't be afraid to put a bit of that in. Now that's the sort of size of PVA bag I've been fishing, plenty of attraction in there and if you want to go one step further 
then you can make these up, cover them in oil, sort of th things like fish protein extracts that are soluble in cold water conditions as well, and that will add off a little bit extra more flavour. And then it's just a simple case of I've got my little pellet skin here with some nice paste in the bottom, and I'll just simply put that onto the bag and it's ready to cast out. Right, now as you can see, I'm just about to cast out and we've got a lovely little feeder stream behind me that runs into the main river. Now there's a snag just below and I'm sure that they're using this cover on the right hand side to move in and out of the feeder stream and back into the main river during the daylight. Now what I'm gonna do here, just at the main head of the snag, I'm just gonna pop this rod up there. It's a good area for bites and one that's been produced in the last couple of weeks. So we're just gonna pop this back out there again and see if we can get a bite. Right, well we've just scaled that terminal tackle down and uh, we've just had a really good liner and typical barbel fashion, or we hope it's a barbel anyway, it's uh, rod's gone over and I'm pretty sure it's a barbel and it's a chub. But it just goes to show that when you're not getting action on those days it's worth uh, playing around with your terminal tackle, not just sitting there. And trying to get a bite rather than just sitting there. Play around with your terminal tackle and make something happen. Okay, we're just going to unhook this nice chub. Just nicks in the corner there, just in the bottom lip. Just on one of Chris's Enterprise pellet skins. Seem to be working really well at the moment. Just going to unhook it. Well, here's a nice chub that I just caught, put up a great fight and uh, almost tricked me into thinking it was a barbel. So we're just going to slip her back now and uh, see if we can get one of our bearded friends. Right, well it's six o'clock and as you can see the light's starting to fade. Um, it's been quite a tough day, we've had quite a strong light levels today and the fish just haven't wanted to play ball which is a shame. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up, put the camera away and uh, I'm going to fish on for a couple more hours in darkness, see if we can bag that, that barbel we were after. But I'm happy, fairly happy with that chub that we caught today and can't be disappointed in such good surroundings.